Meet Grubby Buckets, a dog my mom grew up with. This is a painting that my mom and my grandfather found at an auction many years ago, and I figured I would take some of my grandfather's old walnut that he had milled up to make a frame for it. Problem is, it is really, really old. I mean, really old. Because the wood was so rotten, I wasn't sure how much material I'd be able to get out of this, if any. But once I got it all squared up, it had some pretty interesting color stuff. Okay, so on this rabbit cut, I have the piece that I'm actually cutting off in between the fence and the blade. Don't ever do this. This is why. Here's a pro tip. Don't stand directly behind the table saw blade, ever. Or, you know, do if you want to have a cheap and easy vasectomy. Stand off to either side like I was, so if you do get kicked back, it doesn't hit you. David Picciuto's channel, Make Something, has a video on how to make this miter sled for your table saw and how to use it correctly. The miters are pretty tight, so I should be fine, but I'm adding some splines anyway, just because they, they make me feel good. Plus they look nice. There's still a lot of defects in this wood, so I'm taking some two-part epoxy and walnut sawdust to fill in any holes and hide my crimes. Tell anybody I'll find you. I ended up making this frame a little bit smaller than I needed, where there wasn't enough room between the frame and the subject of a painting to fit a mat. And a mat is always gonna make your artwork or your picture, or your painting look a million times better. So I would say just always make your frame a little bigger than you think you need it. And you can always just cut the mat to fit rather than screwing up like I did and having to make a whole new frame. You're probably wondering how a dog gets named Grubby Buckets. Well, legend has it Grubby Buckets lived on a dairy farm and just wreaked havoc on the amount of product that was actually taken in each day. The dog on the left looks a lot like a dog named Ski that my grandmother adopted long after these paintings were bought. Funny how that kind of worked out. I think Bruce needs a painting. He's a good boy. And he's so majestic. He'd make a great painting. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, you know, if you want to. But uh, either way, I will be back next week with another video, and I will see you then.